So this talk is on using open street maps to improve the understanding of incident level police data using the open police data Python package. And I'm gonna unpack some of those terms. The uh, first off, what's incident level police data? And if I said something like in 2022, a certain community, 22% of their traffic stops were of a particular race, that would be summary data. And the data that goes into making that summary is called incident police data. And it's basically interactions with the community, such as um, a stop and frisk, traffic stop, uh, responding to an emergency call. And this data is very, uh, it's the research community and advocates are very interested in this data because it can help them to understand the effectiveness of policing and then also to be able to answer questions of bias and, and other issues. Um, and what's great is a lot of communities are now open sourcing their uh, police data for, for at the incident level. But there's some difficulties with this because it's different communities open sourcing their data. They have the data can be difficult to find because it's at the community level and they have different ways of, of releasing it. And because it's the different communities in charge of it, it, the data formats can vary. It could be ArcGIS, it could be even spreadsheets. And interpreting that data is difficult too because different columns such as ethnicity can be labeled different things between how the communities have decided to label their data. And none of this scales well if you're a researcher and you wanna be able to do comparisons across communities. So the open police data Python um, package in the project is, is designed to fill that gap and it provides a simple interface to obtain incident level data um, and it's one interface. And then it also returns the data in a standard format, which is the Python and as a data format. And the tools are provided to be able to use standard methods to query the data. And then the results can then be imported into other packages. So the basic data chain is a kind of three-step process. And one is getting the data. And normally you just end up needing to use the load from URL uh, command to be able to obtain from from multiple uh, community data sources. And it's actually obtaining the data directly from the community provided data source. It's not caching it. So reaches out and you can grab it with one command. The processing then is done by the researcher or advocate of whatever question, research question they're trying to answer. And then the open street maps is very handy to be able to do mapping of the data to help people understand the results of the analysis. And, and for example, we have examples using uh, contextually or folium with the uh, open street maps. And so just to give a quick example of this with um, if for contextually, it's just a few lines of uh, code to be able to do plotting of, of either incidents or the summarized data. And folium has some really great um, easy to use features for being able to do heat maps and, and other ways to present the data. And so for more resources, you can either scan the QR code, which will go to the PIP repository for the Python package. And, and then we have, their code is all open source. Um, we, there's examples on the, the GitHub repository and Jupyter Notebooks of using it for samples for finding data, loading data, analyzing it. And then also there's some open street map examples uh, that are available. And if you're interested in getting involved, you can either email the, the Gmail address or just go to the repository and we have a section on how to contribute. So questions?